In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do the technology part of the assignment that goes with this week's lesson. The first thing that you should do is watch the story and listen to Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs. It's important to listen to the story first so that you'll understand the technology assignment. Then the next thing we're going to do is what we're doing right now. We're watching the video directions and we're going to be learning how to create a Google Doc that gives a five day food weather forecast. Um, in the video, I'm going to show you how to insert images and I'm also going to teach you how to make the degrees symbol. Here's an example of mine. Um, for my five day forecast, I put down Monday, 65 degrees, sunny, with wind blowing in cupcakes. Tuesday, 53 degrees with a chance of heavy bananas. Wednesday, 72 degrees, hot dogs falling in the late afternoon. Thursday, 32 degrees, snowing donuts all day. And Friday, 47 degrees with a 75% chance of a lemonade rain. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. So um, when you're finished listening to the story, go to Google Classroom. If you need to, I put a link on my page right here for how to get to Google Classroom. And then in the assignment portion on Google Classroom that I had posted, you click on over here where it says your work and it will open up a blank document in which I set up a template for the five day food forecast. First, just click right here above the line and you're going to type your name. Then the directions say, after reading the story, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, create a five day weather prediction chart below. Here's how you make the um, degrees symbol. On a Chromebook, you hold down at the same time, control shift and the letter U. And then you'll type in 00B0 and hit the space bar. And then magically that little degree symbol will pop up. So let me show you an example. You click in the box and then let's say I wanna make it 70 degrees. So I type in 70, I hold down control shift U at the same time. You'll see a little U show up with an underline and then you hit the code 0, 0, B, 0, hit the space bar, and there you go. You can see the degrees symbol. And then you make a little food prediction for the day. So I might say 70 degrees with a chance of tacos raining in the morning. Then you click down here in this space and you're going to insert a clip art picture. Here's how you insert pictures when you're on your Chromebook and you're in Google Docs. You pick insert, image, go over to search the web, type in the image you would like to search for. So I'm gonna put tacos hit enter and then look through the pictures and see if you can find one that you like and you click on the picture you want and then you pick insert and your picture will load and go into the document okay um so you do the same thing on each of these you make a prediction for tuesday wednesday Thursday and Friday, and then when you're done, you just click the turn in button right here. So when you're finished, you should have a food prediction for every day of the week, kind of like this. Just to let you know, also on the page that I had made, um, the art assignment for the week is right here. It's to follow these steps to make a person looking up to catch food falling from the sky, like in the story, Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs. Then if you would like to show me your art, you just click here to add your art. 
it will take you to a little page I made called a Padlet. And what you do is you click the plus sign down here in the corner. And if you have the picture already on your computer, you can pick upload to post it, or you can click the little camera icon to take a picture of your art. Don't forget to put your name on it. At the bottom of the page, I also put a couple activities in which you can just explore the weather cycle, and you can also click here to learn some things about food groups. I hope you enjoy my lesson on Focused on the Book, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs.